Okay, so how do we implement subclasses? So let's go back to our question example. So remember that each question had a text, each question had an answer, and you had some methods to check the answer and set the question and whatever, right? Now let's say you want to implement this kind of question, a multiple choice question that is, right? In which country was the inventor of Python born? And you give some choices, but you have still one correct answer, like we did for the uh, input question, right? So now there must be a method for adding the multiple choices that did not have in the that we did not have in the original question class right and then the display method will show these choices uh, below the question with one two three four okay so how do we do that uh, so let's i'm going to skip these maybe come back to these so let's say so how do you do that? This is the way that you pass the name of the superclass as part of the definition of the subclass. So this line. So remember previously we defined a class as class question and uh, colon. Now we are saying class, class name, and in the parentheses instead of being empty, you give the name of the parent class. So we can read this as that class choice question inherits from question, okay? And then subclass will have its own constructor. Meaning that in here, you can have other variables that you, you can define. So the text and the answer will be in the question class. They will be called as well. But in here, we have the instance variable uh, choices that is a list and in this case in the constructor it is an empty list okay then we can have a method uh, in which you give the choice and say which is the correct choice and uh, so on if you look at the final method it's saying what void display so if you remember we defined a display function in the question class as well so what did that method do so that display method just printed the text of the question whatever was set right so print the text for this object so self dot text that's the only thing that was printed here we can display the choices right display the question and then display all the choices and we will see i think uh, when we go to the uh, code so coming back so subclasses inherent from the superclass yes we've talked about it subclass can add new methods and change the implementation of inherited methods. So that's this thing. So the display function is, you're writing the same function here. And this function in the subclass will do something else that the parent display function does not do. Okay? This is basically called overriding. So this display method overrides the method display defined in the superclass. Okay, that's what's being said here that you can change the implementation of the inherited method. In this case, was display. And then you have you in the subclass you have to specify what is different, like what kind of additional variables this that are being defined in the subclass. So inherited methods perform exactly the same as in the parent class. You will see that if you change how a method works, you can use the same name. 
uh, and it must take all of the same parameters. This will override the method. That is the display example that I was just talking about. Okay. And this slide is basically describing the same. Okay, so remember in this uh, uh, choice question, we have to add the choices, right? So what are we doing here? We are declaring that function called add choice in which you get choice. And you get whether that choice is correct or not. And then what are you doing in the method? Remember the empty list called choices? You're appending a given choice to that function, uh, to that list. And then if correct, if this is true, if true is passed here, then you say my choice string is whatever the length is of the list so far, convert it into a uh, string, save it in this variable called choice string. And then say the correct answer is choice A, B, C, D, or one, two, three, four, whatever that was. Okay, so if let's say three is passed, then this thing is what? Your uh, sorry, true is passed for the choice three. Um, so your list or length of your uh, list will be two, like starting from zero, one, two, so three members. And you know your, so two convert into a string, so it becomes two, the string, put it in this variable, and set answer is two string, meaning not choice zero, choice one, but choice two, or like choice three if you start the index from one. Okay. So common errors, you can just read them. Uh, so in the subclass constructor, you cannot change or implement the variables in the parent class, or you should not do it, right? Uh, but if there were some variables up in the parent class, you need to define those as well in the subclass. And again, superclass is responsible for defining its own variables and so on. And when we see the example, then it becomes more clear. So here, if you read the second bullet, superclass instant variables also need to be defined. What does that mean? That means if you create an object of the subclass, what's the first thing that's called? The first thing that's called is the constructor of the subclass or the child class, right? In that constructor, we have some variables defined and so on. But since you're creating an object of the subclass, the parent class constructor does not get called. So any variables that you need to define there will not be initialized. So in order to get over that, what we have to explicitly do is call the instruct, uh, sorry, the constructor of the parent class or the super class. So again, recap, whenever we define a constructor, we do not call it. It is called uh, implicitly uh, by the, or at the creation of the object. Okay. However, if you define a subclass, then in the subclass constructor, you have to call the constructor of the superclass. And the way to do that is this. Keyword super, open close parentheses, empty parentheses that is, then you put a dot, 
then underscore underscore no space in between space is here shown only for clarification but when you write it in code there is no space here in it underscore underscore empty parentheses so what happens is that when an object of this choice question is created this constructor is called and the first line of this constructor is that go call the constructor of the super class also why because in the constructor of the super class you may have defined other variables or some important variables that the child or the subclass needs as well okay so in this case when that constructor is called the um, remember the text and the answer those are the two variables they will be set to empty strings and in this own constructor of the subclass a list called underscore choices is being created for this variable or sorry this object Hence the keyword self. So superclass constructor should be called before the subclass defines its own variables. So just remember that if you need to call the constructor of the superclass, that is the first line in the constructor of the subclass. Okay. And if the superclass requires argument, you must provide those arguments in here as well. Okay, so hopefully this should be understandable. Same thing, talking about same thing. So going back to our vehicle example, so in the vehicle there is a constructor that sets what that takes an input called number of tires and sets this variable called number of tires to be whatever is being passed okay so when you go to the subclass called uh, car right in this initialize function what should be the first line if you remember the first line should be you should call the constructor of the parent class now how do you do that super open close empty parentheses dot underscore underscore in it underscore underscore and in the parentheses give the parameters that that function is or that constructor is expecting in this case it expects the number of tires whether it's two if it's a motorcycle uh, four if it's a car more than four like uh, whatever four ten eight eighteen to if it's a truck and so on right so the first line is so line one is this inside the class subclass which you're defining the constructor next line is you call the constructor of the superclass with these parameters and then you create an instance variable to the subclass meaning that this is not in the super with this that your plate number is this six question marks that's it this is what happens that in the superclass you have this variable set called number of tires and in the uh, uh, subclass that variable is set and on top of that another variable is being set for the subclass okay 